Hey guys, welcome back again to another YouTube video by Raihan Onyx Medical Studies. Today I'm gonna discussing on the topic of clavicle, the clavicle bone, a modified long bone. The clavicle is a long bone in front of the root of the neck and it supports the shoulders that so that the arm can swing clearly and away from the trunk the clavicle connects the upper limbs that's the upper limbs of our body and to the axial skeleton and the trunk it transmits the weight of the body it's transmit our body to transmit the weight of the body of the limb to the sternum in the uh, before uh, the in the, I mean the first in the video uh, the first episode uh, I uh, told you about the sternum the this was the sternum and uh, the uh, clavicle uh, transmits the weight of the limbs that is our arms uh, or shoulder uh, the shoulder uh, is uh, that is the humerus uh, radius on uh, that that whole transmit the I mean when I just uh, uh, put up something in my hand like this uh, I'm just uh, putting something in my hand and the weight is transmitted by the radius ulna bone and to the humerus and going through the uh, clavicle and it's uh, it's uh, going through the clavicle to uh, the sternum and it transmit the weight of the limb uh, to the sternum and it has some special characters it has no any medullary cavity it ossifies in membrane and it is the first bone which to ossify and the ossifies at uh, five to six weeks of the intrauterial life and occasionally it is pierced by the middle uh, supraclavicular nerve and it is uh, uh, subcutaneous toward its whole length when you touch it you can feel yeah I'm feeling my bones it is here this is the clavicle. It also called a collarbone in the male. I'm a male person, so when I, ha I mean, I have a collarbone, and this is the clavicle, and I should call it a collarbone. But if uh, it is in a uh, female, guys, I mean, uh, in a female, uh, it will be called a uh, uh, beauty bone. We all know, I mean, uh, the beauty bone is the clavicle the same thing uh, when it's in the male it will be called collarbone and when it will be in the female it will be called beauty bone like all other bones clavicle also got some functions and its important functions are number one it acts as a mobile strut for holding the upper limb for, uh, free from the trunk so it may have maximum freedom of action number two it transmits the weight of the upper limb to the trunk it it transmits the weight of the upper limb to the trunk our body and to the trunk through the coracoclavicular ligament which is situated uh, here I am I'm going to showing you uh, from the neater uh, yeah this is the neater MD okay the uh, neater atlas human anatomy atlas of the human anatomy here on the page you may find a uh, shoulder a uh, glenohumeral joint uh, you can see here uh, this is this is the uh, this is what I told you before <coughs> the coracoclavicular ligament yep this one yeah okay then uh, it uh, it provides the attachment for the muscles uh, it's an important bone that uh, it give the provides the uh, attachment for many muscles uh, as like petrous major and all other uh, deltoid muscle it also give the attachment for the muscles 
and it forms an important part of the shoulder girdle and help movement the arm above the shoulder now it's turn to tell about the parts of the clavicle a clavicle basically got three parts one is shaft and other two parts are one is sternal in and other is acromial end which connected or attached with the acromion process of the scapula and the sternal end attached or articulate with the sternum of our human body the shaft is divided into two parts medial two third and lateral one third the medial two third of the shaft is a uh, convex forward you can see it when you touch it or you can feel it that it is convex forward you may see it here and the latter one third is concave forward here and the posterior side is convex in the lateral one third of the shaft and the medial two third of the shaft is concave backward in the posterior view okay the medial two third of the shaft is cylindrical in shape and it has four surfaces number one superior surface this is the superior surface view it in the superior side and this is the inferior surface just uh, below the superior surface you can feel it uh, have a tubercle on in this area and this is the inferior surface the anterior side this is the anterior surface and in the posterior side you will have the posterior surface now we will go to the lateral one third one third and in the lateral one third, it is not like the cylindrical shape, uh, uh, just like the medial uh, medial two third. It's in the lateral one third. You will feel it, uh, or you will see that it is uh, flattened in shape, and it has two borders. Uh, I told you before that uh, the medi uh, this, uh, medial two third of the shaft has four surfaces but it has no any border yep no any borders and in the lateral one third of the shaft you will got two borders two borders and uh, two surfaces the two borders are anterior border and the uh, in the back side you will see have it on the posterior view you will see it uh, this is the posterior view and you will see a uh, border uh, this is the uh, uh, posterior border and it has two surfaces uh, these are the superior surface in the upper side and uh, 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 the uh, inferior surface in the lower side these are the borders and surfaces of the uh, shafts now it's time to tell about the side determination of the bone uh, I got two bones in my hand one is uh, right and other is left but how can I uh, I will be sure that which one is right or which one is left yep the for that reason I will tell about some important topic on the bone that is uh, that may ensure yourself that this one is right or left okay I got a bone here a clavicle on my hand in my hand and uh, uh, I told you before that the shaft uh, medial shaft of uh, I mean the in the shaft uh, there uh, there were two parts uh, that is uh, uh, the medial medial two-third and lateral one-third I told you that medial two-third of the shaft is convex forward not concave it's convex forward yeah and the lateral one-third of the shaft is concave forward not in the backward I told you that it is concave forward I'm telling you again that 
medial two-third which is cylindrical in shape you will feel this is a cylindrical and the lateral one-third is flattened in shape so the medial two-third of the shaft is convex forward and lateral one-third of the shaft is concave forward and it is flattened in shape clear okay so then the uh, flattened acromial. I mean, sorry. Uh, the flattened acromial in lies uh, is lies laterally. This is the flattened acromial end, and it lies laterally. And the cylindrical uh, medial two third of the shaft or medial uh, two third shaft or the cylindrical uh, uh, side will be lies uh, will be lie in the medial medial part of the middle part of the body and this is uh, lies this is li lying in the medial side so uh, if we have the, uh, this bone uh, in my hand and it it, it the cylindrical uh, uh, part is uh, lies medially and the uh, 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 flattened, uh, flattened part is uh, lying uh, the in the laterally lateral part and lateral side so uh, I got this bone in my hand is uh, right right clavicle and this one is left clavicle yeah I I have also another important uh, uh, determination determined topic that is uh, it it should be I mean the subclavian group which is lies inferiorly yeah if we like uh, the bone uh, lies uh, like this and uh, I got the subclavian group here it, it, it has a groove not the plain side like the uh, in the superior side uh, is in the in the inferior side you will uh, will get uh, a, a groove uh, a groove and this is the uh, subclavian group which is lying inferiorly so you will get uh, the bones uh, in your hand I think I think when you got a bone in your hand and uh, take a uh, look at uh, that which is uh, uh, rounded I uh, mostly I just uh, determine when it what uh, is it the right or left side bone then I sh uh, take it and uh, firstly I show I, I see that uh, uh, those where is the cylindrical part and where is the flattened part I got here uh, this is the flattened part and it should be it should be in the lateral side and uh, it should be in the middle side the cylindrical part and I I, I see that uh, medial two-third of the shaft is uh, convex forward and the lateral one-third of the shaft is concave forward and the subclavian groove lies inferiorly so I got the right bone in my right hand and the left bone is here in my left hand so this is something important information about clavicle um, I hope you enjoy this video I hope you learn something about uh, something uh, from this video uh, if you have questions or suggestions please give it uh, put it in the comment box below uh, if you like my videos uh, give like and want to see more videos uh, please subscribe my channel uh, and I will see you later guys and thanks for watching thank you